Today, we are talking Wagtail Wave WCR Window Cleanse Wagtail Series coming at you. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so we're going to be talking about some Wagtail water fed tools. And before we get to the waves, let's just talk about a brush. And Wagtail does make a water fed brush. You can see that it's got the signature wagtail handle. Uh, it has the pivot control limiting pins that you can adjust the pivot. And uh, it's got the rinse bar over the top. You can see here. These bristles are very soft, so they're not gonna do a whole uh, bunch of scrubbing for you. So you really wanna use these on uh, maintenance cleans. Um, and you'll notice that there's no jets in the middle either, so you don't have that option. But uh, I probably would not use this in most instances. What I might use this for actually is uh, if you have any awning cleanings, it might be a good brush to use for that or screen cleaning too. So here I have uh, the older model wave. This is a 15 inch and you can see that the pad is just enormous. So you're gonna get a lot of scrubbing power out of this. It also has uh, the, uh, the head is pivoting like this, it has the rinse bar over the top. It also has a squeegee rubber, which I don't, I, I did not find myself needing this or using it, and it was actually removed on the newer model. So when I did use this, I found that it was worked really well, but here's the newer model, and you can see that the pad is a little bit, um, the pad is a little bit smaller and you still have the rinse bar over the top and it is ha, does have the option for the limiting pins that you can put in here to uh, limit your, your swivel if you want. Okay, so we have zero TDS coming out of our hose. I'm gonna hook up the pole. We're gonna get you right up to these windows. These uh, windows are done once a month and it's been pollen season, so it's gonna be a good test for us to see how this performs, so let's do it. Take this off and we'll put the older model on. Let's see which one performs better. So I switch poles. I have a, just a little uh, standard pole set up here. And you can see the spray pattern on this one is still a little bit better, but let's see how it performs up on the window. <laughs> So we have a good um, example here of grease marks here, here, and just overall dirt. There's a grease mark here and here. So we're just going to scrub these with the pure water and see what happens. right here scrub that by hand and let's see Rinse it down uh, looks like it got it so you are going to get that increased scrubbing power we got a handprint one two three four you can see that and I am putting a good amount of force on there rinse and 
so the final synopsis is that if you want to get the wave it comes in 12 inch 15 inch 18 inch uh, it is lightweight it uh, is not going to be able to clean the frames and the rinse bar does need some work it also gives you more scrubbing power but it's still not going to get the toughest stains out so you're going to have to do that traditionally but it does come with the rinse bar and uh, you're also going to need some sort of setup to make sure that the handle sits on your pole i would recommend instead of using a carbon fiber pole water fed pole use a traditional pole and it actually if you just uh hook up some a length of hose to your pole that should do it so i mean if you like a challenge and you like modifying you like fiddling with tools i would say go for it go you know test out a 12 inch wave and see if you can configure it so that the rinse bar works properly and um, you get the right pivot and it works with your pole. But other than that, I would say probably just stick with a, uh, a brush, nylon or dual, tr dual hybrid brush and, uh, and have a rinse bar on that with the bronze wool on the back. I wanna thank you for joining me on this episode of the Wagtail series presented to you by WCR and the Window Cleanse. And um, so tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you'll see a new episode on those days. Until then, I want to wish you a very good day in your business. Bubble Guy coming at you. Take care. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel at The Window Cleanse on YouTube.